and welcome to Title Tuesdays. This is Mark from Mark Moments. Happy New Year! 2017, almost 30 days into the new year and what are you doing? Are you doing the same old things from last year and then complaining that they're not working? Are you hanging around all the same people that say business is slow and it's normal? Well, if you are, you're just gonna get the same results. So we thought, because of all of our feedback that we get from you, we thought at Independence Title that we'd have a little pep talk, one that you can take with you whenever you need a little up, uh, motivating, speaking, telling you that things are going well. Forget the hype. Forget what's going on in the world with government. Forget what's going on with your family that you can or cannot fix. If you have to make a living, you have to figure it out. So what do we do every year to reinvent ourselves? An independence title, do we sit around and go, okay, well, we're just gonna wait for everyone to just call us and we're gonna wait for the same people to give us those deals and we're gonna presume all the price points and all the work is gonna be exactly the same? No. Every month, every quarter, we're forecasting for the next season. We're reaching out and doing the things that we think are productive and proactive that we wanna share with you. First and foremost, just look around you. Who do you hang out with? Who do you find in your inner circle? Are they like-minded people? Are they negative Nellies? Are they Debbie Downers? Who are you hanging out with on a daily basis, be it your personal life, your professional life, your spiritual life, it doesn't matter. Who are you hanging out with and are you getting the best results from those people that you need to be successful, that you need to be productive, that you need to be happy, that you need to feel that you're moving forward? Is every day going to be your best sales day? Whether you're an investor, whether you're a realtor, whether you're a lender, whether you're a hard money lender, is every day gonna be the best day? No. But do you look in increments of every day or do you look in goals of every month, every quarter, every biannual review of your business and what you're doing differently to get different results? If what you're doing works perfectly, great. And if it's continuing forward, then it's up to you to mark that down and teach everyone around you what you're doing in order to be successful. We all, Independence Title employees and staff and everybody have their own areas of opportunity that we constantly work on with staff that we hope trickles down into our personal lives as well. If we have to lose weight, we have to do something different in order to do it. If we have to earn more money, we either have to get a second job or we have to figure out how to maximize our potential in the job that we have. Every one of you that is watching this video is an integral part of our success. And for those that don't know us, for those that haven't met us yet, perhaps this is your first video so you can see how adorable we are. This is your opportunity to say what's in their Kool-Aid. What are they drinking? What are they believing? What are they feeling? What are they actually doing? On a constant basis, consistency being the key to be successful. We never know what tomorrow is going to bring because it's not promised to any of us. So stop worrying about what other people are doing and hang around people, professionals, motivators, investors, buyers, sellers, lenders that are doing the same thing. They're looking for new deals. They're thinking of innovative ways to be successful. And the key to start all of that, no matter who you are, is start getting out a pen and paper and writing down some goals. What do you want to achieve? giving your short and long-term goals. How accessible is that going to be for you? Do you have the right car? Do you have the right internet? Do you have the right computers? Do you, are you even internet savvy in 2017? Do you have a smartphone so that you can work smarter, not harder? Do you have abilities to have interns work with you for free but can learn from you but you don't have to spend the money on them and get some high school students that can answer the phone sometimes anything that can cut costs in your business but can still get you to have some help so you can breathe and be the bigger thinker. Do you go to the same neighborhoods when you farm communities or do you only stick to the ones you know? Do you look in the probate docs and see who died recently and say hey there might be some sales coming on? Do you go to the bankruptcy courts and do you see what people are in bankruptcy or foreclosure and say, hey, maybe I can reach out to them. Maybe I can figure something out with them. Maybe I can get them in a short sale. Maybe I can do some things that are outside of my box in order to be more successful. We're a title company. We pride ourselves on being a concierge type service title company. We work with community for giving back. You know that we've spoken more than once about our charity 
and the charitable organizations because when you're in a position to give, you're in a position that you should be doing so. You're not looking for anything in return. You're trying to change the energy around you to be grateful for what you have, not disappointed in what you don't. If you're going to be focused on lack, what you're lacking, that's what your focus is going to be the whole year. If you're going to be focused on what you have, okay, I have my health, my children are fine, I have a place to live, none of it's exactly what I want, but I'm so grateful for what I do have, gratitude will bring you for the new year. If you think it's a malarkey and a bunch of BS, then that's fine. But then tell me how you're doing three months and six months from now if you don't do anything differently. We all know when we lie to ourselves. We know when we eat the cheesecake and we shouldn't and we didn't go to the gym. Stop lying to yourself. Stop telling yourself, eh, I'll do it tomorrow when it comes to your business. Personal life, professional life, they could be very separate things. Some people are amazing in their family life but have areas of opportunity in their professional life. And some people are amazing in their professional life and they're motivated and they're gung-ho about everything and they're making money at every kind of season there is out there but they have a poor personal life. So there's always something you can learn and you can always be grateful for anything that someone new can teach you. Don't think somebody with less money than you can't teach you something. You'll be very surprised at what you can learn if you allow yourself to focus on something new. Here's another thing. Do you listen to people? Do you, are you listening? I don't see you listening. Do you listen to people to respond or do you listen to people to learn and hear them. Two different things. I'm going to say it again. Are you listening to me to just be able to respond and yes me to death? I do all those things and it's, you're telling me nothing new? Or do you listen to me to go, okay, wait a second. This is what they do on a daily basis. They don't just close the deals. No, we have an infrastructure that we spend marketing meetings and proactive meetings figuring out what new venues, these new videos that we do, who can we reach out to, what investors need to learn, who can we support in the community so that they support us, who can we reach out and say thank you to times the myriad closings that we have every day and say thank you every single closing so that it becomes a fact and it becomes a part of gratitude that we don't take anything for granted. So are you listening to me just to respond and yes me to death or are you listening to me to learn something new? This is Mark from Mark Moments and thank you for your time, Rock 2017.